Hey, good morning. Uh, Pastor Harvey Beck at Lester Moore United Methodist Church. If you're joining us on YouTube for the first time, um, let me give one quick announcement before I share our Wednesday devotion. One is that we will continue to have uh, in-person worship, and I've got a new mask. We're in the midst of COVID-19 still. Somebody at church gave me this, Wendy and John Ulrich. Uh, it says, blessed, and I am blessed, except for I'm tired of wearing these masks, but it is the way it is. Um, we will have in-person worship again this Sunday at 8.30 in the worship center. And then this Sunday we'll be at 11 o'clock. We'll be back in the sanctuary. We're having some work done in there. We'll be in the worship center on 11 o'clock this coming Sunday, uh, August the 30th. Um, also, we'll continue to do Sunday school. We're doing it in between. We're doing it in three large groups. One is in the worship center with any adults that want to come to a Sunday school class. We'll be in there from 9.45 until 10.30. The children will be down in the children's department for big classrooms so they can spread out and be social distance. And then the youth will have one large Sunday school class up in refuge. They can spread out in that room. Again, all of those are from 9.45 until 10.30. So I hope you can join us this coming Sunday. Um, the devotion I want to share with you today is about the wrestling match that happened between Jacob and God that's found in Genesis 32. And I want to show some pictures of you of my grandson. I know we all love our grandchildren, and uh, but this is a picture of our grandson Faber. I've showed him to you before. But anyway, this rascal, he loves to wrestle. Now, I don't have any pictures of us actually wrestling, but I just wanted you to see him. And you see the faces he's making, because I'm going to tell you, when we're wrestling, he makes all kinds of faces. But anyway, he's a dandy. I love him, and I'm grateful for him, and I know all of us love our grandkids. He loves to wrestle. There's a game that we play that he comes into our bedroom, and I pile pillows on the bed, and he wants to be a helicopter, so I lift him up, and I fly him, and I let go of him, and it makes our, my wife nervous, Lana does, but y'all, somebody's going to get hurt, and sometimes we do. But anyway, we land on the pillows, and, but he wants me to land on the pillows with him, and then he wants to wrestle. So we just grab each other, and we're rolling and tossing, and we're wrestling, and then he wants, of course, do it again. Papa, do it again. So I throw him, and I throw him, and I throw him, but he really loves to just wrestle and get down. on, And uh, it's fun. I remember my granddaddy doing that with my granddaddy Powell and also my dad, my sister and I, Pam, uh, wrestling with dad and getting on him, but it's all about relationship. And this story that I want to share with you about Jacob is about relationship, but it was a struggle, but they were wrestling. But it's interesting kind of what happens. I want that to be our devotion today. So I'm in Genesis, the 32nd chapter. And then this is uh, Jacob was left alone. I'm in verse 24. And a man, an angel, it says in one description, but it's all the presence of God. He's wrestling with God, wrestled with him until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go for the day breaks. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And so God said to him, what is your name? God asked him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. And then God said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men, and you have prevailed. And so the very nation of Israel was named after Jacob, after God asked him that question, what is your name? Remind you as you go back to the story of Jacob, Jacob and Esau, their father, was Isaac, you remember. And so when Isaac was old in his age, they were getting ready to pronounce the blessing and it would have been given to Esau, but you remember Jacob's mother, who really kind of favored him, said, we're gonna deceive you, daddy. He's not gonna know, I'm gonna put on the clothes so he'll sense and smell and think that it is your brother Esau so you can receive the blessing. So all this was deception and lies. And so you remember the story in Jacob, uh, that he went in to his father and he asked for the blessing and he was asked, who are you? And he said, well, I, I'm Esau, see? And so much deception was there. And so he received the blessing. Esau was devastated. He said, I'm going to kill him. So mom says, flee and run and go to my, my brother 
And so you have the whole story, and then it gets down to this moment. And this is the night before Jacob is going to have to be confronted by Esau, so he's concerned. So he wrestles with God that night. But just like Isaac, who asked Jacob, what is your name? And he lied to him. Now God asked him his name. You and I can't lie to God. That's part of this lesson. This is deep. But part of it is, is we cannot deceive God. He knows who we are. And in order for us to receive favor from God, salvation from God in this wrestling, we must give in. We must say who we are. And the truth is, we're all deceivers. I'm a liar. I'll just call it, I am. I'm a liar and a deceiver and I'm a sinner. But the Bible tells me that. The Bible says we are. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God wants us to admit that to him. In order for us to be saved, we first have to realize we're lost. And this was a defining moment with Jacob. He knew he couldn't lie to God. He couldn't deceive God. He had to admit who he really was. When we really admit who we are, God can, God can help us out. God can redeem us in this wrestling match that we're with. Now, some people never admit who they are. In fact, Jesus told a story in Luke 18. You remember he told the parable between a Pharisee that was going to pray and then this tax collector who was going to pray. And the tax collector basically said, I'm glad I'm not like that other guy over there. I fast. I I give twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. But then Jesus said, and the tax collector standing afar off, he would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven. He just kept his head, humbly bowed his head. He beat his breast saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Then Jesus said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, another word for salvation, rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself or herself will be humbled, but the person who humbles themselves will be exalted. And this was a moment where God blessed Jacob, but he had to admit who he was, a deceiver and a liar. And God wants relationship with us. So in this wrestling match, even like when I wrestle with favor, uh, which I love and enjoy, and sometimes I pin him down and we wrestle and struggle that's there, but also keep wrestling with God. But when he pins you down and asks who you are, be honest. He already knows, but he wants you to humble yourself before him. Don't ever stop wrestling with God, but also don't ever stop being honest with God because he knows who we are. Therefore, he can forgive us. He can redeem us. And he can change our nature from the old person to the new person, just like Jacob's name was changed to Israel. I hope this has blessed you today. God loves you and he wants you to wrestle with him, but he also wants you and I to humble ourselves before his hand. I love you. I hope you have a golden day. Bye-bye.